maybe good morning, depending on where you are, I guess. I don't know. Like, it is currently 3.52. Um, I was expecting actually an important phone call, but they never called, so, okay, it's like, whatever. Um, but yeah, so, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Um, I'm here in my convertible. I love it. Um, I was driving her a little bit today. She's not running great, but running much better than she was because I couldn't drive it before. And I found a couple of issues, to be honest, with that. Um, actually, I should go quickly here. That's the cord I need. There we go. So, yeah, I'm not driving around. I'm just, you know, hanging out in my uh, driveway here and talking to you lovely folks. So, yeah, I work in the car a little bit. There is a video um, that is coming out with that but uh first you know if you haven't seen it yet actually you should go check out um uh, my latest video which is the uh tour of a bunch of cars to be honest like there was um let's see how many vehicles were there there uh, i don't know eight or nine that i did a tour of at this guy's property where there was you know mostly camaros and firebirds so pretty cool honestly i say mostly camaros and firebirds there was one firebird death um, that I was thinking about buying, but I'm just gonna pass on it. It's like the thing is very good project for somebody Somebody out there will love that car and will give it the attention she deserves But that is not gonna be me just due to the fact that I don't need another big project like that. So um, But to be honest like that car I was actually in pretty good shape overall, but it did need a little bit of things. So yeah, um Meanwhile, how are all you lovely people doing? Currently, we have two people. We did have three. Um, I actually just ordered some more parts for this thing. So, you know, just more and more parts, right? Um, it's uh, one of these deals when you have a project car, you're always needing more parts no matter what. This car wasn't supposed to be much of a project, but it's turning into one. Um, I don't really do, like, once this thing's actually running good and everything, I don't want to do anything else to it. I really don't want to mess with it too much. Um, the only other things that I'll do, and that's just for rigidity's sake of the car, because it is a convertible, is uh, roll bar and, uh, what do you call it, subframe connectors. So, you know, that's what the the plan will be next once the car is running properly. Um, look into replacing the top, which, that top, uh, I want to do something a little different with it, which might actually be polarizing to some people but it's fine you know what i don't care i, I want this car to stand out and I'll, it will look good to be honest is because one thing is like outside it's nothing but white right the entire car is white there's some black accents whatever else so i mean and, and i could do a black top which you know i might do but i was honestly kind of thinking about a red top on this car it, it would be a little interesting and a red top that looks similar to the um Oh, what's that uh, called? Um, can't think of the name. Uh, the ASC McLaren Mustangs. And Capris, for that matter. They had this really cool convertible top. Now, the thing is, you can't actually just buy one of those and bolt it to one of these. It, it won't work. Uh, they're totally different styles. But the back of it, though, I should be able to order one of those. And, you know... Gets actually, I know, um, of an upholstery place here in town that's actually does really good upholstery work and kind of combine the two, um, and go from there. Now, I because I'll need to talk to Fred about that because, yeah, um, he owns a division upholstery here in town, honestly, very good guy, and he's even said that you know he'll help me out with this, uh, basically, like I'll pay a little bit. If I help out, it basically cuts the price to like a third or a quarter of what it was. So it it, it is one of those things that's quite nice. Um, so we'll look into that for sure for this car because um, I do have money coming in um, quite soon here actually. Um, quite a bit of money. So yeah, um, can't wait for that to be honest. And you know to have not worry about cash is kind of nice at the moment. But uh, yeah, because actually with this car, um, I was I, it needs more carb tuning, a hundred percent. I was trying to dial in the distributor, but I couldn't really get it to where I was pleased with it. So I got it to where it was before, and yeah, now I just need to tune the carburetor, and then this thing should be okay. 
Um, idle's a little high, so I'll need to turn down the idle a little bit. Um, and I'll need to mess around with the mixture screws. So, again, not very hard. Um, you know, that's just one of those deals that is really nice. Now, I should get food, because I'm really hungry, actually. Um, yeah, and who knows, maybe I'll just go for food, um, live here on camera. Because <laughs> why not, you know, enjoy myself a little bit. Uh, although, I still can't put an air cleaner on this car, um, at least... I need to get a really small one, and I don't want to do that, but I might just have to. Because that auto Brock one is not fitting. Um, and it looks kind of weird on Stitch. However, there is a way that I could make it work with Stitch to where it's not that weird looking. Um, or at least not as bad. So, and we'll figure that out. Like, I can put... Because the Ford Racing one, while it's cool, eh, it's not the end of the world. I could get rid of that. Um, or just keep it for something else down the road, which I might just end up doing because those might regret it if I sold it. So, you know, it's just, it's nice to have spare parts around. Um, because like the Ford Racing one kind of fits here. It's very close. It just, if it was just a little bit less. Now, I could potentially notch the, uh, the air cleaner, but I don't really want to do that because I actually have to notch the air cleaner itself. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those things that I don't really want to do. But, uh, yeah, you know, I am currently enjoying the nice spring weather that we're having right now. Um, although something I need to do, because, like, under the hood of the car, uh, well, there's a few things, and I just ordered some parts to fix some of the issues. Um, well, here, because I'll show you what's been going on, because I don't have breathers on the, the valve cars. Um... Because, oddly enough, these valve covers, I did not find any breathers with it. So, um, oh, I'll need to do this really quick. Hang on, before I do that. Disconnected. There we go. Because he wouldn't have heard me otherwise. So, if we take a look here, you can see a bunch of oil that's just been spraying, right? Because, well, it's not surprising, to be honest. Um, so there's oil all over the engine bay currently and on the hood and stuff, so, you know, that'll... I got breathers coming in, so that's not a worry. I might just tape these up, though, so that it's not spraying everywhere. Um, not exactly ideal, but, you know, you get the point. And like you can see, the Saddlebrock air cleaner does not fit. Like, it's just a little too, too wide this way. But we did do something so that didn't have to worry about it hitting on the back. Which, I put that new, uh... You can see that uh, fitting there. Put that in today. So if that works all good. Um, car is providing enough vacuum. There's no longer vacuum leaks, so that's nice. Because uh, I had to actually remove the... Uh, um, what should I call it? The carb spacer. So, yeah, so unfortunately, this has got to go off of here. But I will... Uh, I don't want to do with this, to be honest. It would be kind of cool. Um, it'll go on Lilo, or on Stitch. And it'll be fine. It'll be just fine. Yeah, maybe maybe I should just go for food. <laughs> and we can go on an adventure together. Um because yeah. Why not? Why have some fun here? Um let me okay do this. Put the Bluetooth back on. <sighs> Come back to it. There we go. Done. Wow, that's only been plugged in for like five minutes and it's already, or actually closer to 15. And it's already like 20% charged. That's good. Um, well, here. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some food. So, but let's us close the hood and start driving. shaky. This thing doesn't run 100% at the moment. Um, and unfortunately, I can't use stabilization while live. And I can't actually use it on the... Ah! On the face cam. Okay. I need that to zoom out. 
There we go. <laughs> yeah, so let's go for a little bit of a ride because I'm hungry. This thing runs and drives pretty decent. Uh, well, I mean, not running amazing, but running okay. Like, it could be a lot worse, um, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say at the moment. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you all are having a fantastic time. I mean, I know I am. It's kind of interesting doing a, a sort of vlog while driving. I've never done this before, so... At least this way, when it's pointed at me. I've always just done it as a point of view drive, so... You know what? Yeah, and I get to see what's behind me without looking in my rearview mirror. <laughs> but no, this, this thing, honestly, I love this car. Uh, I don't really have much for gripes with it, but... There are some things, like, that I would change, absolutely. Um, there's still like the headers that I need to put on this car. Um, I need to change out the plug wires. Oh, I got it wet. That's okay. I'll wait. There we go, and we're cruising. Just, yeah, again, the car's not running that great, so you know, I, I don't trust it on the highway at the moment. Um, it still has quite a bit of smoke coming out of the tailpipe. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's get some heat in here. There we go. Nice, wonderful heat. Because, uh, and turn the fan up. There we go. Um, so yeah, I'll maybe get, like, for this, I'll just need to get a different air cleaner, like a smaller one. So I need to figure out what the diameter is of my uh, Ford Racing one and go one size smaller than that. So, you know, like an inch, I think smaller than that should do plenty. So, um, which I could just ask Cody, but um, kind of forgot the air cleaner. It's, it's on stitch, so. Ugh. See, that's kind of revving a little bit on its own, so that's interesting. But again, need some tuning, so. In time. Give it some time. This thing will be right as right again. Um, because, yeah, it's uh, turning into quite the project, this car. I didn't want it to be, and it shouldn't have been, but it is. So, that's just how it goes, though. Especially when, I mean, I didn't do the initial work to this car to swap this motor or anything like that. I really should. Okay. Yeah, that probably is super, super shaky, so I'll have to think about this for future stuff. Um, but what's cool is with this, like, uh, if I happen to be, you know, on a Saturday night, if I happen to be out and about in this car, I do have a Bluetooth stereo on this thing, so I can actually, like, talk to, uh, you know, lives with, uh, if, you know, when it comes to uh, Novitas' channel, because I'm usually there most Saturdays. Uh, this Saturday I should be there, and I'm actually there actually the full time, but I'll be watching the hockey game at the same time, so there's that. Um, gotta watch out for it. And there's that awesome Sentra. I love that car. And I actually did a video on that Sentra back there. Um, it is an 89, I believe, Sentra. So, pretty cool. You don't see those early ones near as much anymore, and that one's, like, a very, very nice condition. Uh, I should see it. I don't know. Uh, I should leave another order car to say, hey, we're having car meets on every Friday, so at 6 o'clock if she wants to come by. Because, uh, yeah, I, I kind of made it so that she didn't want to sell her car again, which that's the second time I've done that. Uh, people that are wanting to sell their car, and then I message them and say, hey, uh, can I do a video on your car? And, you know, she said yes. She was gracious about it. She loved it. And, yeah. So, I am quite happy about how it's, uh, it's gone that way. Ah! <laughs> Gotta love wind in my hair. Driving with the top down. Even though gas
gas is very expensive, but I don't care. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, no being negative nannies that way. Because I remember actually there was somebody, uh, somebody commented on one of my posts because I was promoting the fact that uh, we're going to be doing the uh, car meet tonight. And, uh, well, the thing is, they said, yeah, they won't be there because of, like, how expensive gas is. Just like, well, okay. I mean, that's fine. I really, I don't expect a ton of people. Again, this is the first week. There's still a bunch of dirt and gravel and crap like that on the roads. Um, there's still some snow in some places. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm at the drive-thru, so I'm going to order some food here. If they come to the window. <laughs> I don't know if everybody's here. Uh, root beer, please. No ice. Okay. Uh, don't need any. Thank you. Um, and a regular score McFlurry, please. Oh, no, that's everything. Nothing to see, thank you. Alright, thank you. Ah, uh, McDonald's is expensive. It shouldn't be, but it is. It's kind of sad that way. That's okay. I'm yeah, just enjoying uh, the nice weather. I cruise around in my car. Ah, sorry about that. I keep dipping in and out of service here. Um, it's just one of these things where I keep getting into Wi-Fi zones and then not. So, I just turn my Wi-Fi off. It makes it easier. Um, but I hope you all can hear me just fine and that there's no issues because, yeah. Come on down, please. Whoops. Did not mean for that to start playing. Good song, but... Did uh, not go so well. <laughs> the freaking lid just kind of came apart. I mean, it's like son of a, you know. And the thing is, with these uh, Fox bodies, if you have the center console in these, they're not so bad. Um, you can actually put a drink in between your seats and the center console, and it'll stay there. Um, it's pretty neat. So, you know, it's a life hack for uh, cup holders in these things. So, I mean, I will actually get proper cup holders, which will probably go into the. Uh, they make them actually where an adapter that you can put inside your ashtray um, and have two cup holders. So, which I'll probably end up doing that. Because I don't have... Sadly, if this was a later Fox body, like if this was the Arrow Fox body, no worries. I could just buy the kit for a cup holders in the car, but... This is an 86, so it's one year off from that. Of being able to have, because uh, on the uh, 87 to 93s, the um, the handbrake is actually a little further over, so you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, like you can actually put a couple holders in these uh, via like LMR and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Uh, but once I get home, actually, I am going to uh, shut this down. So uh, yeah, but. wonderful spring day that we're having here in Sundry. You know, that it's warm enough to have the top down. Although I still a little chilly. And yeah, my face is being covered up by uh, my hair. One disadvantage to having long hair is driving a convertible man. Just 
very excited though for things to come to this car and to my other car um, and what's to come in the future for like my, for example, my, uh, well not mine, technically it's my dad's, but you know, for the Civic as well, because I'm planning on making a trip up there. Um, when this thing is actually reliable, um, I do want to make that trip on the highway up to Edmonton. I'll spend like a night or two in a hotel room. We'll fix this car, like put the new, I mean, if I, if I haven't already swapped the distributor, put the new distributor in this car, put the headers on it, change out the plug wires. It's there. Um, um, so yeah, like I don't have any gripes with that. Um, so yeah, like I don't have any gripes with that. Um, yeah, it's a fun time. And uh, I'm really enjoying myself. You know, driving my car. And I always, I always like driving this car because just again, it's comfortable, right? You know, never, never upsetty with the top down. You know, but uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I had to stop the red light. Oh, it went from red to green immediately. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Why can't that happen all the time? Like, just, just every single time you go up to a red light. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to get this thing, like, properly tuned and everything. Um, which, because I actually said that I might do, and they, maybe we can help each other out. Because uh, there's a guy that has a shop in Ditsbury that has a dyno. But I'd love to get this thing dyno tuned. Love it. It'd be great for the channel and everything, great content. Um, and the thing is, he's actually selling a really badass, uh, you would have seen it in my swap me video, a 427 LSX turbo badass freaking monster of a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit? Um, oh, what the hell is it called? Uh, Fox Body, there we go. It's an arrow. So, I can't remember what year it is, but uh, yeah, it's for sale and he wants like a lot of money for it, but he's got probably double of what he's asking into it. So, yeah. But uh, anyways, I'm going to end the live stream here, because um, I have a thing for my dad, so um, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's a little different for me. Fun, but a little different. Um, I should change the oil in this car too, but maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I've got time tomorrow and I'll have everything all good here. So, yeah, anyways, I love you all. Thank you all so much. And, uh, yeah, I will chat at you all later. Bye. Pikachu.